So you might be wondering why am I out here in front of this building looking at these guys trying to start us off with a big back pony. And the reason why is because <clears throat> I am not only the guy you see going into beat up homes, but I also buy them. <clears throat> and these two are my properties right here, or rather my family's business. So that backhoe there, it's about to chop up the street and rip out a sewer line, so forth and so on. I showing you, I'm showing you this so that you can know that I buy the beaters too and things happen with them. And this is one of them. Croak. Uh, the sewer line is collapsed, has to be dug out. It's a chronic pain in my behind, but I live with it. And just like when you buy houses and as in as is condition, you live with it. But the good thing is I collect rents from these buildings. And they're pretty good. So with the good comes the bad. This is the bad. And the saga will continue. I'll probably do more of this little stuff right here just to keep you guys knowing that uh, you're not the only one in this game. We all go through it. Repairs problems but that's what makes us real estate investors we continue to move on and move forward and build the wealth so that our families can benefit from it in the future and we don't have to work so hard when we're old okay so that's my little proverb for today i hope you've enjoyed it and you'll probably see when <laughs> when they start finally cutting and the saws work and this back hoe starts digging i'll probably throw a little bit of that in there too so you can see how it goes talk to you later <laughs> Yo, if you find anything good, it's mine! Hi, Teresa, please. Hi, this is Jason from Channel. I was calling about your property on um, this is 15th Street. Did you sell that? Did you sell that yet? Back to the contract. Uh, so contingent upon the sale. Is that, is that the situation? Um, Alright, well, I'd still like to check it out. If you want to have them contact me and let me know when I can, you know, when is good for the guy to get me in there or whoever you have in charge of that. And I guess we'll go from there. Uh-huh. Tenants, yeah. Person got behind you. This way you hold it behind me. No, no, no. Um, no, I like that arrangement. Actually, I, I. That's why I'm kind of interested in it because I'm used to managing my own stuff and I'm kind of getting tired of that myself. So, a ca case in point. Uh, so it looks like what we got there is a broken pipe right around this area because you can see the water's coming out. Isn't that fun? So they're going to fix it. I'm just doing this to let you know that that pile right there is the most awesome smell in the world. If you're into, if you were a fly. Oh my God. Day two of the sewer drama unfolds. We have humongous pipe. Big hole. I don't know what to do. These are my guys. Uh, the problem should be solved today and I'll keep you posted but in case you guys really wanted to know 25 tampons came out of that little hole down there so that was a big problem and then it was cracked so there you go <laughs> Grab a little bottle. yeah that's what it is the job, the job is getting done you got men in the hole doing their work and this is what's uh, contributing towards this mess. That and some broken pipes. Oh, yeah. 
So, the operation is almost complete. Two days. I love this stuff.